In this video, we're going to practice using the distributive property. I'll leave a link to this worksheet below, but you go to kudasoftware.com, infinite algebra one, free worksheets, and it's using the distributive property. So we're going to simplify each expression. Now normally, we'd use order of operations and do what's inside of the parentheses first. So that means we would do a plus e. However, we cannot combine the terms a and 8 together, but we can simplify this with the distributive property. And for the distributive property, we're going to take the negative 6 on the outside of the parentheses, multiply it to the a, and we're also going to multiply that negative 6 to the 8, leaving the addition in between each of the new terms. So we have negative 6 times a plus negative 6 times 8. Negative 6 times a is just a negative 6a plus negative 6 times 8 is going to be a negative 48. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So we're going to have negative 6a minus 48 as the simplified expression in number 1. Number 2 we're going to do 4 times 1, and then 4 times 9x, adding those two separate terms. 4 times 1 plus 4 times 9x. 4 times 1 is a positive 4. 4 times 9x, we're going to multiply the 4 by the 9 to get 36, and then multiply that by the x. So 4 plus 36x is a simplified expression for number 2. Number 3, we're going to multiply the 6 by the negative 5 in and the 6 by the 7. And we're adding those two separate terms. So 6 times a negative 5 in plus 6 times 7. 6 times negative 5 in is going to be a negative 30 times n, and then we're adding 6 times 7, which is 42. The answer to number 3 is negative 30 n plus 42. For number 4, we're going to use the distributive property again, but instead of the number being on the left-hand side of the parentheses, like it was in number 2, it's on the right-hand side, but we're still doing the same method. This 2 will get multiplied by the first term, and then the 2 will get multiplied by the second term. And we're using addition in between those two terms. So we have 2 times 9m plus 2 times 10. 2 times 9m, 2 times 9 is 18, times m plus 2 times 10 is 20. So for number 4, our answer is 18m plus 20. For number 5, we have a negative 8, and we're multiplying negative 8 by negative 4, and then we're multiplying negative 8 by 3n. But there's subtraction in between, so we can do this one of two ways. I'll show you the first way, and then I'll show you the second way. We can take this negative 8, multiply it by the negative 4, minus that negative 8 times 3n. Notice that as opposed to the addition like it was before, we're doing subtraction now. So negative 8 times a negative 4 is going to be a positive number, and that's going to be a positive 32. Positive 32 minus negative 8 times a 3n is going to be a negative 24n. When you subtract a negative, you're really adding the positive. 32 minus negative 24n can be rewritten as 32 plus 24n. Now let me show you the other way to do this. If you're more comfortable with addition, you can go ahead and adjust the second term within the parentheses. So you can have negative 4, and when you subtract a positive, you're adding a negative. So plus a negative 3n. And then that's all multiplied by negative 8. Distribute the negative 8, multiply it by the first term, then the second term, 
and now we have addition as opposed to subtraction. Negative 8 times negative 4 plus negative 8 times a negative 3n. Negative 8 times negative 4 is a positive 32 plus negative 8 times negative 3 is a positive 24 times n. Either way, to get to the simplified expression for number 5 is acceptable. Moving on to the next problem, number 6, we're going to do 8 times negative b and then 8 times 4, subtracting in between. And if you want to, you can switch this to adding a negative 4, but I'm going to just leave this as subtraction. So we have 8 times negative b minus 8 times 4. Here we have positive times a negative, so this is going to be negative 8b minus 8 times 4 is 32. And number 7, we're multiplying 5 by 1 and then subtracting 5 times 7n. So we have 5 times 1 minus 5 times 7n. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 7n is 35n. So the simplified expression for number 7 is 5 minus 35n. Number 8, we're distributing this negative 6 to the x and then adding that to the negative 6 times 4. So negative 6 times x plus negative 6 times 4. Negative 6 times x is simply negative 6x plus negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. And remember, when you're adding a negative, you are subtracting the positive. So negative 6x minus 24 is the answer for number 8. Number 9, we're going to distribute this 5 and have subtraction in between those two terms. 5 times 3m minus 5 times 6. 5 times 3m is 15m minus 5 times 6, which is 30. In number 10, we're distributing this negative 4. And there's addition in between the two terms. So negative 4 times negative 6p plus negative 4 times 7. Negative 4 times negative 6p is going to give us a positive 24p. Plus a negative times a positive is a negative, so negative 4 times 7 is a negative 28. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So we're going to get 24p minus 28. 11, we have 5 times b, and then we're going to subtract that by 5 times 1. So we're going to get 5b minus 5 times 1, which is just 5. In number 12, we're distributing the 5 to the x and the 5 to the 9. So we're going to get 5x plus 5 times 9. 5x plus 5 times 9 is 45. I'll stop on this problem so that we have the first page of this worksheet completed. Continue on to the next video and we'll go ahead and do the second page which will be numbers 13 through 24. If you have any questions on the distributive property please feel free to comment below or go to my lesson videos for the distributive property tutorial. And as always, like this video and subscribe to my channel. In this video, we're picking up on number 13 on the Using Distributive Property Worksheet for CUDA software, and I'll go ahead and leave a link below. Now for number 13, I'll go ahead and show you two different ways to do this, and you go ahead and use the method that you feel most comfortable with. I'm going to rewrite this as negative 4 times negative 8x plus a negative 8. Because remember, when you're subtracting a positive,
that's the same as adding a negative. Let's go ahead and do the expression on the left hand side first. With the distributive property, we're going to take this negative four and multiply it to the negative eight x. We're also going to take this negative four and multiply it to the positive eight, remembering to keep subtraction between the two terms. So negative four times negative eight x minus a negative four times a positive eight. Negative four times negative eight is going to be a positive 32 times x. So 32 x and then we're going to have minus a negative four times eight which is going to be a negative 32. Subtracting the negative is the same as adding a positive. So this is 32 x plus 32. Now I'm going to use the second expression which has the same value as the first. We're going to take this negative four and multiply it to the negative eight x, but this time we have addition in between, but I'm taking the negative four and multiplying it to a negative eight now, as opposed to a positive eight. So negative four times negative eight x plus negative four times negative eight. Negative four times negative eight x is a positive 32 x plus a negative times a negative is a positive, so we'll get a positive 32. So you can see either way arrives at the same conclusion, 32x plus 32. Just remember whatever operation is in the middle, that's also in the middle between the two terms that you calculate. So subtraction or addition. Number 14, we're going to take this negative six, distribute it to the first term, and then distribute it to the second term with addition in between. So we have negative six times seven plus negative six times x, which is just negative six x. Negative six times seven is going to be a negative 42 plus a negative six x. Remember that adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So we're at negative 42 minus six x. Number 15, we're distributing the negative three, and we have subtraction in between. I'm not going to change this to addition like I did in a previous problem, number 13, but if you're more comfortable that way, please feel free. So I have negative three times x, so that's going to be negative three x minus a negative three times five. Negative three x, negative three times x is just negative three x, minus a negative three times five is a negative 15. Subtracting a negative is adding a positive. So negative three x plus 15. Number 16, distributing the negative five. We have negative five times 10 x plus negative five times one. Negative five times 10 x is negative 50 x plus negative five times one is negative five. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting the positive. So negative 50 x minus a positive five. Number 17, distributing the five. So we have five times one plus five times two b. Five times one is five, five times two b, five times two is 10, times b is 10 b. Five plus 10 b is a simplified expression in number 17. Number 18, negative eight times the one, and then we're subtracting negative eight times five x. So negative eight times one is negative eight, minus negative eight times five x is going to be a negative 40 x because a negative times positive is a negative. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So we have negative eight plus 40 x. For 19, we're distributing that negative seven. 
So we have negative 7 times 5k minus, because that's the operation between the two terms within the parentheses, so minus negative 7 times 4. Negative 7 times 5k is going to be a negative 35k. And that's minus a negative 28, because negative 7 times 4 is negative 28. Subtracting a negative, again, is the same as adding a positive. So we have a negative 35k plus a positive 28. For number 20, we're taking the negative 5 and distributing that to the 7a and the 6. So we have negative 5 times 7a minus negative 5 times 6. Negative 5 times 7a results in a negative 35a minus negative 5 times 6 is going to be a negative 30. When you subtract a negative, that's the same as adding the positive. Negative 35a plus a positive 30. Number 21, we're distributing the positive 5. 5 times n plus 5 times 6. 5 times n is simply 5n plus 5 times 6 is 30. So the answer to number 21 is 5n plus 30. 22, we're going to do 4 times 3r and then we're going to do 4 times 8. 4 times 3r minus, since that's the operation used within the parentheses, 4 times 8. 4 times 3r will give us 12r minus 4 times 8 is going to be 32. So 12r minus 32 is the answer to number 22. Number 23, distributing the 3 to get 3 times 5 plus 3 times 5x. This is going to be 15 plus 15x. Number 24, we're distributing this negative 10. So we're multiplying negative 10 by 1, and then we're adding that to negative 10 times 9x. Negative 10 times 1 is negative 10, plus negative 10 times 9x is negative 10 times 9, which is negative 90, times x, which is negative 90x. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting that positive. So we have negative 10 minus 90x as the last solution on this worksheet. Remember, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, comment below.